All right, you're welcome back, guys. Um, we still have Lil' Cash here in the house with us. We're talking about music in Nigeria and, you know, many, many, so many, many things. And I want to talk about the artists in industry now. And um, it's a question I like to ask about, really, you know, your friendships in industry, besides the YBNL crew. Are there people you're friends with? Who are the people you call your friends uh, in the industry, word, if at all? The word friend uh, is something I hold very dear to me. Uh, to, you don't just call people your friends. I mean, but then... I'm not just the Tyler. Okay, yeah, there are some people that are outside white, you know, likes of um, Reminis, Fino. There are just some very few other guys I know that these are our guys. But apart from that, I don't just, you don't just see me mingle with everybody. Yeah. I'm not so that you just type see of them person. And you say hello. Or you uh, hello, what's up? How are you doing? Yeah, we're good. I mean, you're doing your thing, I'm doing Why my thing. Why is that? Why do you, what do you have against that? It's not, I just didn't grow up having to be here. Be there, see this one, see that one. I mean, when I say grow up, like grow up in the industry to do all these things, it was yeah. more of hanging out with Bado, with Victor, being in the studio. We're doing more of working than having to go out and be like, there's, there's, there's an house party somewhere, celebrities, these celebrities that where. We, so I don't, they don't, I don't really get that chance to mingle with them as much. Yeah. You understand? So, but then, like I said earlier, I'm a very reserved person, and the only people I really feel comfortable around is my family, which is. The YBNL family. So those are that's I, I barely go to the club if Bado is not in the country or if Victor is not in the country or the couldn't go. But when either one of us are around, then we can go out, feel yeah. cool enough to have fun. What are your thoughts on Whiskey and David and what they're doing now? You know, with the international breakthrough. Man, <laughs> they're taking us to another level. I mean, I'm so proud of Whiskey. Came in with oh, that's your boy, and now he's got he, he has features with like Chris Brown. And, and Drake put him on this album. That's crazy. That's, that's yeah. I mean, it Are you goes. cool with him? Yeah, I'm cool with everybody. I'm cool with Wizzy. I'm, I'm cool with David. Yeah. It's just that we don't get to see each other all the time. But me and, me and David are really cool. He's a G. Wizzy is cool <laughs> as well. Is there anyone you get you find that you get pitted against a lot in the industry? Because we found that with Whiskey and Davido, where people always said uh, Whiskey or Davido, Whiskey versus Davido, they even had a rivalry at some point, even though they seem to be best friends these days. Oh, yeah? um, is there someone you always find that you get pitted against and you wonder why? Um, Especially from maybe from those in the category, you, uh, in your category from the headings. Okay, judging from the things, can, the things I see online, to be honest, yeah. it's just still that category. Yeah. Apart from that category, you see just the new school guy, you know, it's just, so it's just normal. This, that, but I just think it's normal. I think they do it for everybody. At some point, they were doing it for, for Olympian Reminis as well, like, ah, king of the street and all that. But what they don't realize is we've all got our fans. We all have our market, our directions and all. You do catch fans, there's no effect. Is Daniel's fans or yeah. anybody's fans. They love you for you. They love me for me as well. Yeah. So I don't think... I don't is there think part of you that still feels like, oh, maybe I should have won that I watch yeah. I mean, it's not necessarily regrets, but I mean, you still feel like... People like validation. Will you believe we me if I tell you? We can't say we don't like validation. Will you believe me if I tell you? Of course I will. I am way <laughs> above all that. Like, I am way... Nah. I don't, it doesn't even cross my mind again. To be honest, at this point, I don't even, I don't even wish I, I'm not wishing I had it again. It's, but, it's past that, it's gone. There was already. a point where you were a little unhappy. Yeah, that was before, the, before the, um, before someone won it. Definitely, I was in the, I was in the category. A whole lot of people were rooting for me. So you saying as soon as the winner was announced, you were over it? As soon as No, it definitely. It you were took disappointed. Me some, yeah, well, I was, I, I, I was, because I had high hopes. I honestly had high hopes. So, and since it didn't come through, for a while, I was disappointed. I felt like I even let some people down because a lot of people are you dig. So, yeah. um, I mean. Do you still, what do you, do you still have like a thing for, for me, the thing now? is, what do you think the thing is, me, eh, what is not for me is not for me. And the moment I don't get it, I mean, even the things I didn't think I would have in life, I got some things that they were way above my expectations that I didn't even think I was going to be getting this thing. So if I don't get this thing, I know it's, it's because I'm not supposed to get this thing. And did I even mention that the fact that I went to the studio and I took my album so serious was because I lost the album. Because I lost the award, it made me feel like, okay, yeah, you have to do more. Something good came out of it. I mean, at that point, I just knew I had to just, yeah, something good came out of, of losing the award, actually. At that point, I, just, I knew I just had to concentrate on what I have. And, like, you asked me a question if I have is, a thing for award. Is it like award? Me in Nigeria, bro, honestly, man, no. Nah. Why not? Yeah? Why in Nigeria? Because, yeah? I mean, it's, 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 it's crazy. It's crazy. Don't let me, <laughs> let me say it too much, but I mean, it's crazy. I don't even think it's in Nigeria alone. It's, 
I think it's everywhere. I've done. There's politics to everything in this life. Not just me, away from the music. There's politics to it. So then, at some so point, if, I if thought, you won an award today, will you think you deserve it, or it was politics? Like if you won an award now? Because I will never play the game to get an award. So if I get it, it's probably because I deserved it. I will never what call. What is the game? Eh? I won't call people, anybody. Who, are you saying people pay for awards? People trade favors for awards? I don't know. I don't know, but me, oh, I will not call anybody that, ah, you, I deserve this award, give it to me. I won't yeah. do that. At this point, Zev, I, mean, I don't think award is, is something that should speak for anybody. Yeah. It, shouldn't, it shouldn't be what we speak. It's not, I don't think it's a level of success already. As far as me, I'm concerned, because trust me, I'm doing very good for myself. I'm making, I'm, 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 I mean, I'm making enough to take care of myself and my family. I'm making a living, basically. Some people have awards. So people that were popular back in the days with plenty of that awards, with plenty are, awards are not getting anything now and all they have is just stare at those awards at the table. No. I want to grow up. I want to grow up and my kids will ask me, Daddy, did you win any award? Did you see that Lamborghini outside? <laughs> yeah, that's an award. I made money from that. Now that you mentioned Daddy, I, I thought about a wife. Are you are you in a relationship? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Why not? I'm in a relationship with music, you know. I mean, that's like the, the music is just it's just it's just it's just the love of love of my life rather it came through for me i mean you fall in love with people that come through for you or things that come through for you in this life nothing came through for me the only reason i'm out of the hood today is because of music is because of god so yeah i can't live i mean it will break if i just go and go and start dating some girl how do you want music to feel about me you dig so i mean i love you baby i mean you're in, you're in hip-hop hmm? <laughs> you're in hip-hop yes <laughs> Lots of women around you, of course. And so, where are you, are you driving that table car? Right you have started. <laughs> I want to know why you are telling me you are not interested in women. When you probably I'm not interested before. in getting in a relationship. Okay. Relationship does okay. not so mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're having a good time. I mean, There's every guy that. should should relate with a girl. Like, no matter how you like a girl, you met, you take her out. Probably then you, you stop there. Her. When it's time like, for relationship. Yeah, according to what my daddy told me, <laughs> yeah, she has to be very careful. Out. Don't touch it. If you touch a girl, <laughs> she can she can get pregnant. So I'm very careful. <laughs> I don't know. 20, 25, 30 years from now, I don't know if you're still going to be singing. What What are your future plans? After, are there plans after music or is music? I think. What you think? I think I'm be? pretty. I'm still like I'm still pretty young in the industry too. I won't say I'm too young to start making other plans, but. My music career, my brand at this point still needs at. a lot for me to want to start planning for other things. I mean, it's good to plan, but it's also good when you focus on a particular thing, achieve more on a particular thing and trying to join two things together. So even if I'm going to be doing anything in the future, I still need funds. I still need money. Nobody's going to dash me. So let me make as much money I can make now and then plan my future. There's no other things I'm going to be diving into. But yeah, by God's grace, definitely. I want to be a businessman. I want to control millions. So that's my future plans. I don't so know what how to do it. I don't. In life, about from money, what I'm getting from you, money is important. So are you music for money? No, I love music. Now nah, that's the basic truth. Now nah, let me now tell you the truth. What many people don't understand, because some people just call an artist now, nah, be like, Ah, Lil Cash, please, I want to feature you. Baba, if you feature me, you know me say you go blow. <laughs> Funny enough, the, the biggest hits we have these days is not because. You feature the big artist on it is because you yourself you 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 are creative enough to to record a banger so to enough. record a good song that's why it is a hit you understand so i think the reason why my songs are coming out great one god and two baba me i love music i won't lie to you are you happy with it doesn't happy? things doesn't make sense to me if i don't hear if i don't listen to music yeah. at times that's how deep it is i love music are you happy with it's how your album strong. is going yes and my album is doing really good I mean, for a debut album, I didn't think I was going to be selling as much. I mean, when I called my people, people would, I mean, people would take care of my digital. I'd be like, okay, how far? So what's the album doing? Seeing like, as you, you do your I songs like, mostly, I like that. mostly I like Yoruba, that. Does it, are you worried that you might not cross over to certain parts as much as you'd like to? Okay, then you probably should listen to my songs very well. You'll notice I don't just do songs in Yoruba. In a particular song, you hear me speak English, speak Yoruba, speak pro broken English. And that's the advantage I have. Because, I mean, I grew, I grew, I grew very, my, my career grew very fast within a space of two years. And when I checked, and I was like, okay, why? Is this happening? Then I noticed yeah. I was able to cut across because I didn't just limit myself to a particular language. 
base or others eat, you still, I still, yeah, every, you, even if you don't understand you, but one way or the other, because I, I, I spoke English in the song as well, you'll be able to understand what I'm saying, so I was able to cut across. So are you gonna, are you gonna drop the bars for us now? Oh, oh, bars, yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't need to rap, let me just drop the bars now. Uh -huh. I'm already writing, you know, you understand? But yeah, um, the bars go like this, please. <laughs> Baba, eh, foil is on 45. The foil used that used to fool my car before for like <laughs> six thousand naira. Now it's filling my car for like twelve to thirteen k. And I'm always on the road. Please help us. Help, help Nigeria. <laughs> eh, government, who you help? Help somebody, please. So those are the bars I have for you. Help my, help my people. And now, Pepe, have you have you heard what Pepe is saying? Tomato. Have you heard what Tomato is saying? <laughs> Thanks for you being know, here. You know, you know what? No, I'm not going here to. Well, you <laughs> Thanks nice for joining us, man. It's, it's an absolute pleasure. Good yeah. luck with everything you do going forward. And like I always say, you can follow the conversation on Twitter at WineNiger is the handle. The hashtag to follow is Robin Mind. You can also visit the website WineNiger.tv. Remember, you've never seen young people talk like this before. I'll see you next time. We share that for them. I am ready for your action. Just for what you love. You should not have all this action. It's all on you now. And just give me some reaction. Just for